4G changed our lives, but 5G will change our societies. That's according to China's telecoms giant Huawei. But what makes Huawei tick? I want to take a closer look at their new research base in southern China. Experts say Huawei is now 12 months ahead of its rivals like Nokia and Ericsson because of its superior technology, especially in 5G. And all this could be because of research. And with research, Huawei has been developing the telecom's gear to handle higher 5G performance. So this is Huawei's 5G wireless space station. And this is 4G wireless space station. So in 4G time, the average power of a wireless base station is around 300 watts. And in 5G time, the average power will go up to 1000 watts. So it means three times larger. The power is three times larger. 5G base stations are an essential telecoms gear because they make sure we get 5G signals on our mobile devices, but also faster data speed. And because 5G base stations transmit faster data speeds, they consume more power. This means they get hotter and hotter. And this is where new cooling techniques need to be developed. In a part, and feel some special liquid. And for this, the liquid is not water. It is special liquid. The boiling point is 18 degrees C. And engineers like Dr. Zhou are studying how different designs and materials can change the speed and direction that heated air flows away from the components. And Dr. Zhou added that the density of Huawei's cooling liquid makes the base stations much lighter in weight, certainly less dense than the industry standard aluminium. And these designs by Dr. Do's team have been funded by Huawei's massive investment in research. As recently as 2017, they spent a whopping 13 billion US dollars on research. That's more than the total of its rivals combined. And fast forward to 2019, Huawei owns most of the essential 5G patents with 2,570, and that is 20% of the global total. And these patents are considered the fundamental blocks to rolling out 5G at home and abroad. But the research funding has also meant they can develop new technologies, and one of them is the DIS, Digital Indoor System, that allows 5G signals to be received inside buildings. So with the 4G network, I do find it a struggle to make video calls especially. That's probably because the speed is slow and somehow the screen freezes from time to time, which I find quite annoying. But with Huawei's 5G phone, you can use your 4G SIM and you can switch between the two. And that's because Huawei's base stations, they offer you two options. Huawei's base stations offer both standalone network, which is pure 5G, but also non-standalone, which is 4G and 5G networks together. Meanwhile, Huawei's research has been focusing on making the base stations simpler. For example, the core Tiangang chip powering the base stations. As an end-to-end -end 5G chip, it's making the stations 50% smaller and 21% less power consuming. And with this, it has big ambitions for a quick, large-scale 5G deployment worldwide. So far, it has shipped more than 150,000 5G base stations. And by the end of this year, Huawei expects that number to increase to about half a million globally. And at a time when many of the world's 5G players have been held back by the high cost of setting up more 5G base stations, Huawei is offering a solution. I'm Josh, stay tuned with China Matters.